that boy. Redfish number three. It's a little Spotosaurus Rex. Look at that guy. That's a drum spots redfish all day long right there. You're going on Instagram, buddy. We are here at South Shore Marina. It's first thing in the morning, it's overcast. It's gonna be calm all day long. Tide's coming in on like a 1.9 foot tide range all the way until about 12.30 today, and it's gonna be flat calm. And the goal today is to go catch a good box of speckled trout. I don't think we're gonna limit out. I may have to roll in a playing redfish, but let's go ahead and get this boat in the water and I'll see you at the first fishing spot. Uh, I don't have a lot of faith and confidence right now in fishing late born in the summer because all the trout should have moved out by now but i did see some reports inside la fian shore where people caught some trout it's worth trying i don't feel super confident about it but i'm just looking for like bait balls or anything like that so far what i'm seeing like you see how it's all smooth you don't really see too many shadows or anything that's like not good i don't like that but see then like there's some shadows so that's good but still not quite what i'm looking for all right we're, we're bouncing yeah that's a ghost town too all right we leave all right i'm seeing more bait balls uh, i'll try this out yeah, we'll give this a shot. Kevin, is that you? Oh, hey, Steve, what's up, man? Well, I saw someone posted a report for the east side of Lake Bourne, so I figured it was worth coming out and giving it a whack. Yeah, it's been one but real nice. Good. I have onesies and twosies, that's fine. Oh, all right. All right, well, I got bit a couple times, so I'm gonna work this a little bit more, then I'm gonna go, because I don't wanna waste my time. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Uh, well, it shrunk as I got closer to the boat. If this guy's 12 inches, he's... Oh, he's 12 inches. And no, he is. He is not 12 inches. Nope, that's a throwback. It still buys a spot another five minutes. Oh, he whacked the crap out of that. Oh, come on, I think this is just a red fish and I'm more than happy to try and land it. So will go towards playing redfish if I gotta go to playing redfish. Uh, it's a drum or a redfish, I can't. Dude, it is the world's biggest gaff top. Why? Why, why? Freaking why. All right, you're, you're my problem child now. What's that? It, it does, dude. At least I didn't catch them on two at a time on a double rig. Oh my gosh. Oh, so gross. Look at him go. We were just about to wrap it up. And that's that's what they do though. I know. I, and I hate that. I really hate that more than anything. <laughs> Dude, this is a, a nice Yeah, he's acting.
Come on now. Stay buttoned up. Keep your head down. Yeah, that one's a keeper. Bam, baby. Oh, heck. Uh, it's been, I would have to say, there we go. Come on, stay buttoned up. Oh, it's small. Okay, see see this right here, guys and girls? These little ding -a -ling fish like this, when you're just getting bit over and over and over again and you just don't know why you're not getting the hooks or whatnot, it's probably little fish like that. But there, there's got to be some semblance of a redfish bite around here. Like, I'll tell you where I finished it, where we caught them last No, don't tell me. No, let me find them on my own. Okay. Yeah, don't. But uh, now the edge of that grass, I like to fish or drift over the top of it if there's enough water over the top of it. It was so bad, it, all that was grass. It wasn't an edge. That's, you know that's, I mean. cr that's so crazy because it was not like that but before this freshening. Well, either this is a freaking state record or it's a, another gaff top. <laughs> it's a freaking gaff top it's running straight to the boot. It's a freaking shark. A shark. It's a shark. It's a shark. It's not uncommon to catch sharks in, in late born, but it's just been a while since I've caught one this far in. Oh, I got him. Here we go. Caught a shark. Stay still, bud. He's like a muscle. If y'all ever handled one of these things before, they're just like a friggin' muscle. Look at that. Caught a friggin' shark. Where are my pliers at? Give me my bait back. Let's get the next spot. And we are here. And it is raining, which is awesome. But it seems like it's just drizzling, so I'm not gonna take off and go hide anywhere, nothing like that. We're just gonna go down the shoreline, give it a whack. So you guys know I am having problems with the GoPro overheating. That continues to happen, I'm gonna have to call it. So hopefully it does not continue to happen. And what we can do instead is just catch some fish. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm hung up now. Tell you what, you are not fishing rip rap unless you're getting hung up. Gotta love it. There we go, now we're out. All right, this is what we are gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fish this and I gotta see something awesome. Like I gotta see bait. I need to catch a fish. I need to see fish. Something needs to happen. Like I'm literally just gonna go hundred yards down this thing. And if I just don't get what I want, I'm gonna roll straight into playing redfish. I'm just not even gonna play with it today. I'm, this is not gonna be a late afternoon kind of day. I have no patience for it. I got this rain to put up with. The GoPro's overheating. Just need to find some fish and get this day done. Okay, that, that's it for me. I just, I, I'm just not even in the mood to grind out this whole thing. Not even, just, just let's go find five right fish, man. All right. Let's try this out. Water here really could look better. Gosh, doesn't look good at all. Yeah. Man, we got storms moving in too. <sighs> Dude, just cannot catch a break. Great, let's just find some redfish now. Oh, come back. Here he is. Yeah, 
Yeah, boy. <sighs> Oh, ho, 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 big angry redfish. Yes, son. That is a beautiful Black Sea Marsh redfish. Good buddy. Feisty. Let me show you the bait it is that I'm using to catch these redfish. It's called a net bait baby pack a crawl and it's rigged onto an owner flashy swimmer. And while I could talk a lot about this bait right here and right now, I already made this video right here that goes into detail as to why it is I think this is the best lure you can throw for redfish in South Louisiana. Got him! Oh, you can see the weight coming up behind the bait. I love that. I love that perfect size redfish. Oh, in the boot. Redfish number two. Oh, I hope the camera got that. I'm pretty sure the camera did. Not the biggest redfish in the world, but a redfish nonetheless. Redfish number two, y'all. Three more. Come on, three more before the sky busts open. I just, I just love redfish when they wake after the bait like that. That's just so friggin' awesome. So in a situation like this, the water's kind of stained, you know, it's not super clear. The sun's not out. It's not very conducive to seeing them and sight, sight fishing them. So what I'm doing instead is I'm casting down the length of the shoreline as well as I can anyway, ahead of the boat and bringing the bait back to me. And something that I teach inside sight fishing mastery school is that when you're fishing marsh like this, even though this marsh does have aquatic grass it doesn't have nearly as much as like more of a freshwater marsh like what you see in point lahash and delacro and when you have only the shoreline and not a whole lot of grass or no grass at all like what you typically see in the black sea marsh those redfish are going to be up against the shoreline but when there's grass mats out in the middle of a pond well they can be around that too and you kind of got to drift over that and, and see if they're out there but in this marsh where there's hardly any grass, you're fine with just fishing the shoreline. And you can probably see all kinds of fish zigging and zagging around, pushing water. And those are all like sheep's head, smaller sheep's head or mullet, almost anything other than a redfish. And a good way to kind of discern what's what to really learn it is to get a stand and start sight fishing because then you can just see them and you know. When I used to guide, I would take people out fishing and they would see the wakes of mullet zinging around. They're like, oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. I'm like, yeah, it's not a fish. And that's fine if they don't know, but then you get the people that would just insist on stopping a cast at the mullet and we're not, we're not doing that. But I don't guide anymore, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, boy. I don't know if that guy is 16 inches or not. I don't know. Stop getting tangled in the freaking fishing line. Just stop moving. How in the heck did you manage this? And I hooked him good. All right, let's see if he's 16 inches or not. And barely. Redfish number three. It's a little spot of source Rex. Look at that guy. That's a drum spots redfish all day long right there. You're going on Instagram, buddy. All right, back in the water you go. Let's see if we can't grind out two more before the sky opens up and destroys us because there are storms everywhere and I have to cross Lake Bourne to get home. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very thrilled about that, but I am thrilled about catching redfish. Oh yeah, boy! 
I wasn't even looking at it. I was looking out to my right. Got him. Whoo! Mm, 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 mm. Happy dance. Hooked him good right in the corner of the mouth. And there we go, boys and girls, redfish number four. We are making it happen. Hopefully, the sky won't open up on us because it is just getting darker and crazier and more mortar-like every minute. There you go, girl. See you later. It's kind of like dead, decaying looking grass. It's really not my favorite kind of grass to see. I really enjoy healthy green grass, not this crazy cow pie looking stuff, but I just caught a redfish in it and I think I see another one tailing up here. So let's just keep going. All right, I keep hearing thunder rumbling and you can see the big storm right there. It's like, come on, man, just one more redfish. One more redfish, come on. Oh, now it's raining. Oh, come on, man, come on. Come on, one more redfish, let's go. Let me see him, I won't miss. I will feed this bait to him. There's a gar. I can see the gar. I can see the redfish. I don't see anything, so it must mean that there are no redfish. Not yet. There's something right there. <clears throat> it's a small one. It's a small fish. I don't know. I don't think this guy's going to be long enough. Get out. Stop. Stop moving. Nose is up against the front. He barely crosses the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is redfish number five. Oh. If you like to learn more about catching redfish, knowing where it is that you can find them, then all you need to do is check out my course at Sight Fishing Mastery School. Inside it, I'll show you the process that I use to find fish from scratch. The best way to eliminate unproductive water and zero in on the good productive water. So when the speckled trout aren't giving it up, you can easily roll to plan redfish just like I did today. Did you enjoy today's video? Tell me your favorite part in the comment section below. And if you'd like to know when the next one goes live, all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines.